There is multiple reasons why I always use actions on Laravel Cloud. One of the biggest is consistency, because again, we are expanding the team. And the last thing I want is a new team member coming and questioning themselves, okay, should I use an action or not? Should I? I want them to be like perfect, crystal clear how they exactly develop a feature on Laravel Cloud. And for example, if they see how databases got implemented and they see that we used literally actions for every single thing we can do with the database. Mm -hmm. They just think to them, okay, now I'm implementing caches and I'm going to also do actions for every single cache usage. You know what I mean? So that's one of the reasons consistency. Also a very important reason why we are using actions. It's because we are very likely to have an API in the future. So I want to be able to literally share common behavior between regular web, web layer and my API. So with the API, we will be able to create a database and through the regular a web layer, you do that too. So basically they both share the same action and the same mm -hmm. form request too. Also one of the biggest reasons why do I love this pattern too is that in Laravel Cloud, we actually have a bunch of chained actions. So for example, you go to Laravel Cloud, you click on create application and something that happens when you create an application is that you get for as well a default environment and you get as well a default stack, for example. So all of those three are literally three different actions where the parent one is called create application, calls the create environment, the create environment oh, yeah, calls, yeah. you know what I mean? So they all chain. So now, actions accept other actions on the constructor. the constructor and then yeah that's the best part of it right yeah actions deferring to other actions and you can just stack them as much as you want to yeah so that is that but it is the best part of this is something i really like which is ensuring database consistency which is i always wrap the handle of my action within a db transaction mm -hmm. and what it is this allows me to do is that if i'm going to chain actions if the very last one for example fails this will bubble up until the parent one in the transaction will never be committed and I just love this. And the database will always be consistent over time.